Hi, everybody. Good evening. Uh, this is Mr. Kennedy Carici. I'm a certified rehabilitation counselor and also working for the Department of VA under the Veteran Readiness and Employment as a vocational rehab counselor. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and create this presentation because I know that there's a lot of people that are trying to figure out what are good study materials to do for CRC, uh, what are some opportunities out there that they can look into as far as either investing additional study times or resources that's going to help them to pass. Now, just a little bit of some background. I am the founder of the CRCC study group. Um, I also host the CRC study group webpage. I've also been privileged to run the Facebook channel for the um, well, assistant, assistant uh, moderator <laughs> for the uh, rehabilitation counseling professionals. And more importantly, I love to connect with other pro CRC professionals and candidates pursuing that credential. Um, so with that, I wanted to go ahead and share this because I feel that this is very important, especially for those who are either going to be retaking the examination or if you're a candidate for the first time, what are some materials and study stuff that you can use out there? Of course, a lot of it's going to be dependent on how much you're willing to afford. Uh, the second part is your study habits, and the last part is your commitment. Um, majority of the people that I know who have passed and earned their CRC or Certified Rehab Counseling credential, they were committed. 90% of the ones who passed are the ones who were committed. They put time aside to study. They found materials to practice with. They used their study habits to their advantage. So I'm hoping that this here will not only... Uh, clarify where resources are out there, but maybe gives you an idea of what could be a good resource for you. Uh, with that, I'll also be sharing a little bit of an additional incentive for those who are using our services, our meeting the CRCC study group share drive, which I'll show all that information here. So like that you have it and uh, we'll start that incentive beginning in January. So Moving a little bit on the next slide here, we're just, again, we're going to talk about, uh, categorize this off of two types of materials. Free resources, which is my favorite, versus paid resources. Now, one thing I will not do is I will not say which study resource is the best study resource. If you want to find that, there's hundreds of YouTube channels that talk about that. You can talk with your friends, your family, whoever taking it before, and they're going to tell you 101 different answers. The only thing I'm going to be telling you about is what resources are out there for you to study with that are open resources versus stuff that you may have to pay for a subscription for or may pay into a fee in order to practice. Keep in mind, it's also in addition to the cost that it takes for you to register for the CRC exam and if you defer or anything else too. And then, of course, I'll give you some bit of more contact information about my team. It's me and one other person right now, so I am recruiting for other CRC credential professionals to join us, um, really just to kind of help out, maybe share some lecture videos and stuff like that. And of course, people who are already working in the field, that you already have experience doing this and you want to share this with other people that you feel, uh, it'll help them to pass their CRC. So the first one, again, is my favorite are free open resources. Now, the resources that I'm mentioning here, these are stuff that's been a collective since I started this program in January of 2023. So this is from other candidates, those who have tested previously, professionals who are working in the career um, of the voc rehab counselor and other related professions. Uh, with that too, uh, these resources here are open for the most part. Uh, you can get it access for free and I'm gonna show you how. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is Quizlet. Quizlet is an excellent resource study tool because you can use it to prepare. And there are so many different, different uh, creations of the Quizlet. Now, the downside is we don't know how long it's been since it's updated, but a lot of the material in the CRC exam hasn't really necessarily changed in terms of foundation, but there is new material that may not be covered in these types of material in, in this type of uh, test from here for Quizlet. But one of the things I really enjoy about it is that it, one, whoever created this, thank you, Kristen <laughs> Rosebrock, you may not have realized it, but you helped out quite a bit of students, including myself, to practice. And what's awesome about this is you can do it as a flashcard. You can create it like a test. If you sign up with an account, you also do it like a learning ability. 
And a lot of the information here is pretty relevant as far as what you will see in the CRC exam. And it really goes by definition. So it's a great way to get your mind refreshed, memorizing all the terminology. And especially for those who've been working in a career and it's been a while since you've maybe gone back to school, this is a good way to get started. So, and there's several other Quizlet uh, links that I have that I can share later. If you do ask for it, again, you have to like to subscribe to the YouTube channel and send an email. Um, and that'll also help you to prepare. So that's one way to do it. The other one is study.com. Now with study.com, it's free for the most part in terms of getting some general information about the CRC study group. So let me get a web page open. And we're going to say study.com CRC certified rehab. And you can go through here to learn and prepare for it. So for some people, they may create an account. Sometimes they're even able to do test practice questions. But it's another option for you to go through to study and prepare for it. It goes through the, the, the 12 main domains, including, I think, one additional one. Um, and they can help you to prepare. Now, I believe if you want the full access, you might have to pay some sort of fee. I'm not fully familiar, but this is another route you can take to learn if this is your style of learning. And a lot of them are video channels with quizzes. Oh, let me get to the next thing. Now, the other one is Google Scholar. So, for me, Google's been my best friend. So if I'm preparing for the CRC exam and there are certain things that maybe I need to refresh my mind on, I can use Google or Google Scholar to figure it out. Like for instance, uh, chronic and social aspects of disability. And just see what comes up, you know? They have the Springer Publishing Company, they have the social impact, you know, you do general research. Another thing too, like what could be up in the CRC exam that you can see is stuff about social security. So you want to know about social security administration. Let's say you're talking about Medicare, Medicaid, and the living services, disability qualification. Sometimes it's good to go to the direct source and that can help you to prepare and study for the exam. Google Scholar also allows you to do further, if you want to do more further research about a particular topic, if it's really necessary, but it can also help you pull out additional academic, uh, proved academic resources. But again, for me, Google is, is and always will be my best friend. So I also put this as an open resource and this comes from the Commission on Rehabilitation Counseling uh, Commissions, Commission on Rehabilitation Counseling Services. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, kind of rolling on my tongue here, though. But basically, this comes from the CRC website itself, the place that you go to uh, test and certify for the exam. And you can Google this. You can get a copy of it from the actual CRC site itself. So let's just go CRCC. Commission on Counselor Certification. There we go. The commission. This comes directly from the commission for the link I'm going to share with you. Okay. And in this link, oh, not that one. It has a recommended, I call it a study guide. And it's something I really wish I would have had when I was studying for the CRC exam when I took it in March of 2023 via this year. And I didn't get it till afterwards, but it literally goes down each and everything, even though it's up to 2021, it's still current of what they're gonna evaluate you on. And to kind of put this in the sense is out of the selection here, what they want you to learn, they say about 11% is gonna be a combination of counseling related questions to the topics and rehabilitation questions to these. And this is a really excellent study guide that you can use to help plan. So like that, as you're practicing, as you're preparing, 
you'll have more than enough information when you take it next time to pass the exam. And it breaks it down into everything, including stuff that we might not see like in Mometrics or even in uh, the Quizlet, even some textbooks I'm gonna talk about um, that may not be in there that are considered new. And that's where you as a candidate need to definitely take advantage of this free resource because it is free and use this as your study guide to make sure you hit those points, right? Going back to theories. To understand at least what these are, who created the who coined them, how are they applied in the field of counseling and or rehabilitation? So, and it's just a really, really great way for you to make sure you're keeping on point with what you need to know, making sure you know enough of every information. So when the questions come up on the exam, you don't like, you don't go saying, I don't remember talking about this. I don't remember reading this. Uh, I don't know where this came from. No, you have it here for you. So definitely take that from the CRC website and use this. And of course, I have the link here. So if you reach out to me at the CRC study group Gmail, you'll, I can definitely provide that for you. That is not a problem. In fact, it's in the share drive. So Now, another open resource that we have is Auburn University. So Around late summertime, I want to say August, June, between June and August, after the second cohort tested, Auburn University got smart and said, you know what, we need more counselors to certify and test for the exam. And by the grace of the school and their funding, because I mean, the school definitely makes hundreds of thousands compared to me, um, they came out with like a podcast for the CRC. So let's say you're on the road, you're driving, and maybe you don't have time to open the book or flip open, you just need to listen to something. They break down every single, uh, what do we call it, domain in the actual CRC preparation. And they have a podcast for each and every specific topic, like professional orientation and nothing. And that, and that event, I think, for counseling, uh, group counseling and therapy. This is a great way to keep your mind focused when you're studying. So let's say you're on a road trip that's like 45 to an hour. Instead of not doing nothing or playing around with your music or I'll be looking at your phone, you can be putting this on as a podcast. And this is also something that I didn't even have when I took my exam in March that I wish I would have had. So this is another open resource that you can use to help you test and prepare. And they do go into some very details that you may not find in other resources. So definitely take advantage of it and thank Auburn University and the people who created that because this is a very excellent resource in addition to mine. So I was trying to find, I definitely had the list of everything it talks about, but you can just go to Auburn online and get it. So, and it'll give you all the 12 principles in there. Then, of course, you have my YouTube channel, which is where your I'm this video is going to be recorded. Uh, the CRCC study group. So, again, I started this since the beginning. Uh, this started as a group recording, a group of people getting together to simply study and learn about it. So, you can hear past conversations. And, of course, um, any updates that come out, anything that gets posted, it's all going to go through here. Not only that, uh, when we talk, mentioned about Emily Sussman, she's also going to be including some mindfulness meditation. I also help her and other candidates kind of clear their mind and prepare for the exam so they can focus. Because with this, you also want to make sure you're doing self care as you're preparing to certify for any sort of exam. So, and of course, you have access to all the videos that are listed up here. It is available to you, and you're more than welcome to review them. Yes, they're about there are a couple of hours, but you can always cut through in between. And the best part is if you do subscribe to my YouTube channel, you join the share drive, any other presentations that you see on here, we have copies of those presentations for you. Again, it's made by uh, students and professionals. So like that, we can help other future students and professionals such as yourself. I don't know about you, but I can't beat that. <laughs> yeah, to me, I think it's a really excellent way to study and prepare. So, and again, let me show you the share drive. So, 
when you do like and subscribe to the channel and you send an email to the CRC study group at gmail.com or the CRCC study group at gmail.com, you'll have access to all this content and information. It is provided by other professionals, people who are currently in the career field. Some individuals are willing to contribute and put more resources in there. So it's open. It's an open source to you. Now, one thing you will not find, though, and I refuse to put it in here, are answers to any sort of CRC study question or test. Now, there may be some example mock exams that you see, but they're not going to be the actual questions from the, when you take the actual CRC exam. Reason being is because when you go and test for that examination, whether you pass or not, you sign an agreement to maintain a silence and be quiet when there's doing testing during that week because you don't want to end up being called a cheater and you're getting your certification revoked. But what you will get is the opportunity to, to look at the resource information as far as um, uh, this one here. You get to see about the domains, those presentations that we used on my YouTube videos that I created. Um, you get access to additional study guide links. You get the YouTube channel. You get the all that here available to you for free. And again, of course, when you are part of it, if you want to contribute something that you think that will help other people to study, I am more than welcome for you to contribute that. Uh, again, it's an open, for the most part, it's an open source. 90% of it is comes approved from the CRCC. Uh, with that, though, a lot of these are done by professionals as well. Very much slides. There we go. So these are the free open resources that, as far as I know, I'm aware of that's available to candidates to study. And it's quite a bit. You know, it's quite a bit. It's a really great, excellent tool because, one, it costs money it's over $400 to pay for that certification. Plus, if you don't have a job, you have to pay for CEUs every year to renew. And then if not, you get your certification revoked. And that costs money. So I don't know, I'm about saving money. However, I do know some people want to be more intensive and they want to actually study more. They want to put extra info into this. They want to invest into their study time. It goes again, being to that dedication. So the first thing I definitely recommend is going to the CRCC website directly and going to take a look at the university catalog because they do have uh, good information about their education and training. Let's see, students, where are we at? Uh, Oh, where are we? I just had it. Let me see. They have a course guidebook. If you, of course, to prepare for this for the exam, but that's not what to find. I'm looking for. Where are we? Our uh, certification. Okay, research. Apologize, I had the link and I'm not too sure where it went to. Oh, here we go. So if you go to certifications, go to CRC and get certified. You can click on this here and they have access to different types of study tools. They have a mock exam. It's talking about the content outline, some example questions, even flashcards. I use the CRC flashcards uh, shortly after uh, when I was testing for the exam and shortly after to learn about it. I think the problem is, is that once you pass your examination, you get your credential, you lose access to that. I wasn't aware of that, but still, it's pretty good. And it kind of gets you an idea of what you might likely do when you take the exam. Like, will you have a chance to pass it or not? If you want to take a time practice test, you pay a small fee, um, but it gives you more or less an idea of how well you could potentially do and lets you kind of know where your starting point is. But again, it costs money. It is extra in addition to it, but it's also a resource provided from the Commission on Rehab Counselors Certification uh, website itself. So again, I use the exam flashcards. That kind of helps me, but they do have other information in here as well that can help you prepare. It's up to you. Uh, the next one, 
Now, again, going back to the study.com, I think this is the one for the paid. So let me see. Come on. There we go. And, oh, come on. Is it there or is it not? Yeah. So pretty much goes through here. And I think you can uh, do the course, take the practice exam. I think you do have to pay for a subscription. I'm not going to touch too much on that one. Now, in terms of textbooks, if you go back to when you were a student, or even if you're a student right now, you have probably over 10, 15 bucks. Now, for those professionals that have been working as a VRC or in a rehab counseling role past their graduation, and maybe it's been a while since they opened up a textbook, uh, I highly recommend the Red Book. And any of my lectures and videos you're going to see, I'm going to always refer to it as a red book. That's because it's a spring of publishing material. And I don't want them thinking I'm trying to uh, make money off their name. But this is a great book because it gives you an overview of everything you pretty much need to know to prepare for the exam. My professor suggested it to me. I studied through it and it helped me. Um, it's helped many other students, and it's an excellent way to reference things that you need to know. It's a one-stop shop. The only downside is it's not going to have any current information past its most recent edition. So until a fourth edition comes out, anything that was considered new when we looked at that uh, study guide um, might not be in that book. But for 95% of the material, you will find it inside that book. Now, you can buy the hard copy too, or like I did, I also got a uh, digital access. So let's see if I can get into my account through here. I don't think I can, not this one. But let me try. Let me try here real quick. Don't mind me. Let's see, Springer. When you get the digital access book, because I also have the hard copy, you can do a lot of fun stuff with this. It has a mock exam included in the rep, in this red book. That's why I like it too. So you can do a mock exam in here and get real-time feedback for your answers. And if you're tech savvy like me, if I'm trying to reference something to remember about, let's say with topic is trauma counseling, and I want to know about a specific topic, let's say, let's say I'm looking for some keywords, maybe uh, trauma, it's going to help me find those systems here with trauma. Okay, this is one of the emergency management system with rehabilitation agency. That's the topic I want to remember about because I don't remember it. And you can kind of go up and down. With that, at the end of each each uh, topic, they give you a list of resources that you can refer to, how this stuff was put together. And you have some practice exams or practice quizzes to kind of get you an idea of are you retaining information. Now, don't think that these questions are going to be verbatim on the exam like some people may say or they think that and they end up failing it. It's just to get you an idea of whether or not you need to study a certain part or if you grasp the concept. But in other words, it's really helpful. And it's also when you get online, it's broken down into multiple sections. So at the very end, you can do a full-blown mock exam and then get real-time answers. If you don't get it right, you can research the answers, go back and forth to it. Again, it is the number one book that I recommend for anybody if they're like I don't know where to start as far as investment get this red book get the CRC examination prep red book if they come out with a fourth edition get the fourth edition for right now the third edition get the red book 110 percent you need to have a reference to go back to red book now there are other books as well. I know this one is from a metrics, which I'm not fully familiar with, so I'm not going to quite touch that on here, but I've heard some people use that and it helps them to study as well. Now, oh, wrong button. Now, another website that I found, and this is just me doing some Googling, again, Google being my best friend, there's also a website called Arca. 
which if it shows, oh, that's not it. Apparently, ARCA, which is, I think, the American Rehabilitation Association. Let me see. Don't quote me on that name. It is, yep, the American Rehabilitation Counseling Association. They might also have some additional stuff for you to get materials for for free as well. They got a CRC exam prep, uh, 30 questions. They got the practice test through the metrics. They have, of course, the main website. And then they may have some other resources too. So I'm not fully familiar with this uh, agency, but it never hurts to get free additional resources to study. If you want to give it a shot, give me some feedback. Let me know about it. See if this was very helpful. Like that, I can promote it to other future rehab counselors or future candidates taking their CRC as well. But it's available to you. There's also this one here, which we call a paid preparatory course. And this one's from the University of Florida. And I think also Auburn University has one too, where you can register to do your CRC prep course. Pretty much it's a, uh, it goes, it pretty much um, puts everything together with you, gives it the main objectives, videos, readings, resources, and quizzes. It's already preset. You're just gonna pay a good 295 per person, maybe group discounts of 195 per person. And of course, uh, these are not refundable. And we'll repair your statement as children mental health that work. That's from Florida. I think Auburn has another one too. And if you want to go through that and say, you know what, I don't really want to take uh, three to four months to study. I think I just need three to six weeks to study or, or four to six weeks to study. Hey, give it a shot. This might be good for you. Okay. The only thing I cannot vouch on either is I'm not sure uh, how up to date um, this material is and how much, how often they update it. I'm sure it is since there's an optional text course. Uh, let me see here. I think it's the same book as what we got. Oh, there we go, that red book. You see what I'm saying? It's the same book. That's why you should get it yourself. But um, I don't know how often they update this, but it's also definitely there for you to uh, get, test, and study. Okay? If you want to pay extra on that. Now, time to close that. There's also the Stout, which I've heard some people, actually one of my colleagues used this while I was hosting a study group, and they were using Stout as well, and they felt that it was very helpful, especially when it came to mock exam preparation. Uh, that's another one you can try for as well. It's about $275. Registration is open, and it goes by cohort. So what some candidates will do is let's say they're studying from November up to February and they say, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a quick boot camp just to put everything together. They'll go over here to register and then they'll do it for two weeks and get a, a, an exam preparation material. So like that, when they get ready to test, they may be more or less ready to go. Um, obviously, they, as you can tell, it goes by cohort though. So it goes from January 11th to March 7th, then again, May 16th to July 11th. So they're trying to do it in around up to the point where it's a week prior to doing the testing week. So that's another way you can go through the two. It's a flat rate of $275. It might be good for you. I do not know if they do like actual individual or if it's a classroom base, but it's another avenue approach that you can take to prepare for the exam. And another one that personally I tried and it wasn't, <laughs> Too helpful, but it kind of got my brain noggin. Um, some people like doing the flashcard study method from what I heard. In fact, I will have somebody in the future uh, giving a short presentation about doing the flashcard study method because some people like to study that best. And you can get something called a CRC uh, prep cards. You can order it, of course, through Amazon. Um, you can either get it online or get a hard copy. If you get a hard copy, keep in mind they are there's like over 700 flashcards. Um, and some people say it helps them because they see what stuff they know versus what they don't know. So that's another avenue that you can use to help you prepare uh, to study for the CRC exam. 
So kind of bringing things to a close here, I wanted to share this because when I started this, I was given very limited info as far as what to study for, how to prep for it, what materials to use, apart from what my professor told me, which was get the red book and read it from in and out, beginning to end, and know all of it. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but my brain can only handle so much. And so when I started this group in January uh, with many different people, um, I wasn't just sure how it was going to run. But one thing I wanted to know is if there's ways I can save money and maybe have other people share stuff with us as an open resource, it's just going to make it easier for not only for us, but for other future individuals looking to certify for the exam. So I share this with you so you can consider your how much time, because time is costly, and how much funding you're willing to commit to getting your CRC. Not only that, it's also thinking about, too, let's say you're getting your LPC or LMHC. These play a factor into it as well. Remember, you got to think about the cost. Just to sit for the exam itself can be anywhere from $400 to $425, and I think it's going to go up even more. So, But don't quote me. You go to the CRC website directly. It tells you how much the fees are. Um, with that, what are you using to study your materials? If you're using nothing, you're wrong. If you're not using, if you're using one thing, you're somewhat wrong. If you're using multiple resources, you're doing something right. So think about it. Think about your investment of preparing for this. It's easier for a student coming fresh out of college to potentially pass the CRC than it is for somebody who's had been working in it for a while, especially working by either state or federal or even private. So especially for those who have been out of school, I highly encourage you find a good solid study material. Hint, hint, the red book. Um, that is worth the investment. And more importantly, find a good group of people to study with. Also, for you professionals with masters, and some of you even have PhDs and even students, you should know your study habits by now or else you wouldn't have gotten a graduate degrees. If you know it's easier for you to study alone, It'll be a possibility maybe to do flashcards. It'll be a possibility just to do the book. Maybe a self-paced learning class. Maybe you just want to do a one-to-one -one with individuals. Maybe you like to study in a group. Whatever works best for you, you need to know your study habits to help you prepare for the CRC exam. And then lastly, time. How much time are you willing to dedicate and prepare for the exam? If you want to know about my story and how much time I took, to prepare for the exam, please watch the CRC July orientation. You're probably going to get a good laugh from it. But definitely watch this orientation because I share with you about my failures of what I should have done better to study than the way I did it. Because I know I definitely did not do it the right way. But think about it and by knowing how much time you're willing to dedicate. If you're planning to take the CRC in March of 2024, perhaps the best time to study is now. Maybe you didn't pass it the first time and you're going to take it in the summer. Maybe the best time to start studying is hint now. Maybe you just need to take an hour out of your day. Maybe three hours out of your day. Maybe one day out of the week. However you do it, you need to dedicate the time. Many people that I know who did not pass the exam did not take the time out of their busy schedule to study. And some people need more time than others to study, like me. So this is the people in the CRC study group. So when you send me an email, you're going to be talking to myself or you're going to talk to my counterpart, Emily Sussman. And here's the best part. We both got our CRCs this year in 2023. Compared to our professional counterparts who have, let's say they've been out, they haven't taken a certification, they've just renewed their certification for the last eight to 10 years, a lot has changed from 20, 2008 to 2018 and even to 2023. So if you want to know about the latest and greatest about the CRC, we know how it is. As well as other professionals who join us know how it is because we just got it. Now, what are some of the advantages of that? Well, if you go back to the... Oh, where are you? 
if you go back to the study guide, uh, when I found out about the new domains being covered, I helped Emily to say, hey, make sure in addition to this, you study these extra new domains, which was helpful for her to study, just as an example, okay? Uh, not only that, uh, we know firsthand what they're looking for in the examination, and more importantly, we talk with other professionals who are CRCs, especially me. I like to maintain that open with people who are in public figures, people who are in private rehab, federal agencies, state, local, and those who are looking for jobs. I'm always looking for an opportunity to connect. And like you, myself, I am certified, so I can actually walk my talk as well as Emily can walk her talks. Okay, so that's the big advantage you have with us for the CRC study group. So. I've had many people reach out to me uh, asking about, I want to get tutoring. You guys have it. I like to do some one-to-ones. We'd love to do another group study. And there's people out there doing it and prepping, getting ready for it. Word is already spreading. And I know this. And so I wanted to just let you know that I will be doing an opportunity starting January because I have to make sure I do everything the legal and right way. Um, I'm actually looking to do private tutoring lessons for individuals in January and small groups. Um, I will not mention price right now. That'll be talked on on an individual basis because that's still in the works. But this is one thing I will do for you if you want me or Emily. And if we have another professional on who got their CRC, uh, we'll offer to you. Since I'm a Zoom user, and if we do a study group, whether it's two-on-one -on -one or one-to-one, -one, I'm going to record that whole session for you. Not only that, I'm going to record the whole session for you, probably upload it on YouTube as a private link and give it to you so you always have a reference to go back to it to learn. So let's say, for instance, uh, you need two hours for me to help you to study. I'm going to Zoom record you for two hours. And if we go over five to ten minutes, whatever. The end goal is to help you uh, master what it is you're trying to learn but you'll have that with you and you always have that to reference. Uh, with that too, when I talk about the getting the recent testing insider stuff, what I'm talking about is, let me tell you what other people kind of said about the exam. Let me show you where many people are not really doing too well at. Let's see about your study habits and what let you learn best. That's what I talk about as far as, far as uh, insider. Not only that, what are some current uh, events happening that are changing. Like for instance, you might start seeing some more info about veteran readiness and employment, veterans benefits administration, veterans health administration, heck, even federal employment compensation act. You might see more questions in the CRC exam for that. Also too, we'll help you with a customized study plan. If that's something you want us to do and actually do a breakdown and say, you know, these few weeks you should be studying this, next few weeks you should be studying that, we can definitely help you. Now, one thing I'm not going to promise you is that if I tutor you, you're going to be a guaranteed pass because, again, it's going to go down to you and your dedication. But what I do guarantee you is that you're going to learn something by the end of this and hopefully retain that information. So if you do see on an exam, you're not going to be surprised. So with that, I really appreciate your time listening today. I'm I know it's been a while since I've posted anything and shared this up YouTube, but we are definitely here. If you want to know more about this information and you definitely want to say, you know what, Kennedy, I think I can do this. I want you guys to help me out. I want to get access to your CRC resources. Um, I definitely want to, want to be on the list for a uh, group lecture or even a, an individual tutoring. This is our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to it. Please email us at the crcstudygroup.com. You do need to provide documentation to get access to the share drive. Um, it's in this presentation here, but basically I need to see something showing that you tried taking it this past year and failed, or you're registered for next year in 2024. At least those two things. And of course, if you're a professional and you have your CRC, hey, send us your CRC and we'll let you be part of the group and you're more than welcome to add to, to the resources. And of course, um, if this isn't directly related to us, but I do post a lot in the Facebook group, so definitely join the Facebook of Rehab Counseling Professionals. Uh, that's where a lot of people, even many people who sit on the CRC board are there, so that's a great resource hub as well. 
So thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a wonderful, safe and holiday season. Um, I will keep you guys posted in December. Uh, any changes and updates, but come January, uh, if you reach out to us, uh, we're definitely going to reach out to you. Thank you and have a wonderful, amazing night.